we're going to an open house. Let's go check out the Winslow Courtyard Villa. I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to go to an open house. Um, open houses are very popular, a popular thing to do for people that come to visit the villages. Every day there's probably over 30 or 40 open houses throughout the villages. And people that live here also enjoy going to the open houses to see the different interior design options and just the different floor plans. So we thought we'd try and take you along on an open house and see how you like that. This is something new we're trying, so give us some comments below. Let us know whether you enjoy this, um, if it's something we should continue to do. We're still going to do our other videos, don't worry, but I thought we might add these in occasionally for those of you that want to see what the houses are like here. And the thought is, is you can kind of see what the different floor plans are and get a general idea what housing costs here and what you could purchase if you decide to move this way. So let's go check it out. Let's go. Welcome to the Winslow. The Winslow uh, that we're looking at today is a courtyard villa uh, listed as 1,810 square feet and it's $309,834. Now, of course, this house probably is not for sale at this point. That's why I'm not going to list an address for it. The purpose of this uh, video is to give you a kind of a feel of the floor plan and see if the Winslow is the type of home you'd be interested in. This specific Winslow has a little bit of a stretch uh, put on the master bedroom and I believe a little bit to the garage uh, from the standard floor plan. A standard floor plan would have 1,755 square feet living space and this one has 1,810. The Winslow is a concrete block and stucco structure, three bedrooms, two baths, and has a lanai on the back and a porch on the front. This is a courtyard villa, so it does have a fenced-in backyard. Uh, this one is not on a view. Uh, there are some Winslows that are on ponds and things, and they would replace that wall there with uh, wrought iron fencing. All right, so let's go check out the inside of the Winslow. There's a cute porch right here, it's shaded. A pretty good size too for uh, a villa. There on the left was the coat closet. I didn't open it up this time. We'll start by heading to look at the living room. Vinyl plank floors. Uh, in all the areas other than the bedrooms. They've carpeted it in the bedrooms of this home. You can notice the vaulted ceilings. Oh, it makes it feel big. Yep. Lots of light, a couple of windows there. Now the master bedroom. The master bedroom as a little bit of a stretch on it, about a two foot stretch out to the back. So it means it's a little bit bigger than a standard Winslow. And look at the window right there, the rectangular window to go above your bed. Master bathroom. Double sinks. And your closets over here on the left. Yep. Large walk-in. That's an attic access up there. Uh, there's another attic access in the garage and the water closet with a sliding door makes it nice and the Roman shower Roman showers are very popular in the villages uh, able to walk in and out don't have to go over any deal with doors or go over any edging uh, so it's very popular down here and it was all tiled which was very nice in yeah the, in the Roman shower yeah. there's your backyard right off the master bedroom windows. Now the tray ceiling, that's standard in this in the Winslow. 
I'm going to head to bedroom number two. And stopping by the bathroom, your second full bath, right here on the right, right beside the second bedroom. With a tub. Your other bathroom had the shower, you have a tub in this one. Now the ceilings are actually 10 foot tall and it slopes down, see that little slope down to the edge, down to 8 foot. So these are tall ceilings. Um, that's pretty standard in most village homes. And there, your closet, a standard size closet in here, not a walk-in, it is a standard closet. And it's big enough for your spare rooms, I guess. And you get to look out the front into your front yard, um, there's your porch. Going back down the hallway and you're gonna take a right into the living room, dining room, kitchen combination. Let's take a look at the kitchen. You have a little bar area. That's high definition laminate. That's not uh, um, quartz, or not quartz, but um, granite. High definition laminate. And I'm gonna show you the pantry. That is a big pantry. Yeah, I haven't seen that in any other homes. That is really nice. You can do a lot of coupon shopping with that space. <laughs> All right, bedroom number three. A quick peek into where the laundry would be. It's a pocket door to close this area off. Get your washer dryer, and that's what I call a slop sink. I don't know the official term. Definitely comes in handy when you're doing laundry. This is the smallest of the three bedrooms. You can but, fit a bed in there. But you still get natural light coming in. Yeah, which makes it nice. And there's a closet similar to the one that was in the second bedroom. And then there's your entry and the um, coat closet right there on the right. And we're going to take a left and go in the garage. Now, the standard Winslow, I believe, has a single door for the garage, a, a, a wide single door. So this is, had a little bit of a stretch on it, I believe, to get two individual doors. But that one still has two car garages. Yeah, too. they're both two car garages. Yeah. And there's your other access into the attic. They do not come with pull downs. You have to add that if you want to use that attic space. And there's your. That's the HVAC, your air conditioning internal unit, hot water heater, and that's your sprinkler controls. All of the homes in the villages have sprinklers. Well, let's go outside. <laughs> Now these doors that they just started using a new door on all of the new builds that slider is a good solid thick door for a sound and uh, temperature insulation um, our year, our house is two years old they aren't nearly as thick as those that, those are some really quality doors now that's what i was talking about the extension off the bedroom sticks out a, a foot or two a standard goes um, winslow goes all the way across straight across the lanai is a good size. And yeah. then you have a, pa a concrete patio all the way down the side of the house. As a courtyard villa, you get a fenced backyard. And the area to the right, that yellow wall, uh, would be wrought iron fencing if you were on a lot with a view. There are some of these that are on ponds or uh, even some Marsh. on golf courses, I've yeah. seen. So. Yeah, and marshes. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the open house tour of the Winslow Courtyard Villa. Now, I know this is a little bit different type of video than we've done in the past. So like I said at the beginning, put your comments below whether this is something you enjoyed or not and something we should continue to do. Um, we have fun going out to these open houses, so thought maybe we'd drag you along and hopefully you enjoy them as much as we do. Now do us a favor if you do like it, give us a thumbs up. If you would subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell and it'll notify you the next time we explore the villages.